Each generation, except the first, of the car consists of three models. Five-seater, this is the standard modification of the seven-seater, called Grand Scenic, produced since 2003 and has three rows of seats and an off-road wheelbase, is produced a few years after the first two models, it has increased ground clearance and off-road features. In March 2003, a short time after the release of the new Renault Megane, a new generation of Renault Scenic was presented at the Geneva Motor Show. The car was made in the style of the new Megane, as well as the previous generation. There was a modification of the Grand Scenic with an increased wheelbase and seven seats. The car is built on a new platform of the Renault-Nissan Alliance, Nissan C. Among the range of engines, there are only two gasoline engines, all the rest are diesel and turbo diesel engines. Petrol engines are 1.6 liter 16B engine with 82 kilowatts, 110 horsepower, and 2.0 liter 16B engine with 98.5 kilowatts, 135 horsepower. In 2006, the model was slightly updated. Changes, the radiator grille changed for the new style. The Renault inscription on the trunk lid was removed, only the scenic inscription remained, bumpers painted in body color, new wheel design and interior design, the Grand Scenic modification now has a five-seat option, smart parking sensors, squeaking not only when parking, but also at the risk of colliding with another car. The updated model was presented in September 2006 at the Paris Motor Show. In March 2003, a short time after the release of the new Renault Megane, a new generation of Renault Scenic was presented at the Geneva Motor Show. The car was made in the style of the new Megane, as well as the previous generation. There was a modification of the Grand Scenic with an increased wheelbase and seven seats. The car is built on a new platform of the Renault-Nissan Alliance, Nissan C. Among the range of engines, there are only two gasoline engines, all the rest are diesel and turbo diesel engines. Petrol engines are 1.6 liter 16B engine with 82 kilowatts, 110 horsepower, and 2.0 liter 16B engine with 98.5 kilowatts, 135 horsepower. In 2006, the model was slightly updated. Changes, the radiator grille changed for the new style. The Renault inscription on the trunk lid was removed, only the scenic inscription remained, bumpers painted in body color, new wheel design and interior design, the grand scenic modification now has a five-seat option, smart parking sensors, squeaking not only when parking, but also at the risk of colliding with another car. The updated model was presented in September 2006 at the Paris Motor Show. There is an opinion that Scenic 2 seemed to be specially created for the secondary market. Second, third, and even fourth hands will surely be the most caring for him. It's easy to explain this. A person who buys a used Scenic understands exactly what he needs from this inexpensive car. He will be grateful for the qualities that this far from indisputable compact van is able to demonstrate, designed primarily to protect family values and he will rather treat technical troubles philosophically. It's French. In Europe, Scenic 2 was extremely popular at one time, but unfortunately not in our country. Few new cars of this class were sold in Russia. Therefore, it is not surprising that today there are a fair number of cars on the market that came to us from the old world through Belarus and the Baltic states. In the history of such machines, there may be a twisted mileage and all kinds of resuscitation measures. European can be identified by a diesel engine, but experts advise staying away from such cars, especially from pre-styling modifications with 1.5 and 1.9 liter diesel engines, their time has passed. Once attractive and economical, now they can turn into an ongoing hotbed of problems. Except, perhaps, only a 2 liter 150 horsepower unit, which appeared after restyling. The front wheel drive compact van was equipped with 1.4. 1.6 and 2.0 liter petrol engines. In Russia, the last two turned out to be the most popular. They were offered five and six speed manual gearboxes, as well as four and six speed automatics. All boxes get along well with motors. But if, as a rule, there are no problems with the mechanics, then torque converter boxes cannot boast of a long service life. Statistics say that after 100,000 kilometers of run, problems begin with them. Modulation valves, torque converter valves, valve body, and not only fail. Mechanics, however, can also cause problems. A chronic disease of the clutch assembly was an unpleasant twitching that occurs at the start. Engines with a volume of 1.6 liters and 2.0 liters are comparable in terms of fuel consumption. However, the latter is noticeably faster. 
The timing belts and attachment drive are changed here every 60,000 kilometers. With them it makes sense to change the pump. The sore point of the 1.6 liter engine is the camshaft position sensor. The 2 liter unit is characterized by unpleasant sounds emitted by the membrane of the ventilation system of the crankcase gas system. Well, the mechanism for changing the valve timing is short-lived and is a stumbling block in both versions. Mechanics have noticed that frequent trips in economy mode lead to problems with the ignition system. In addition, a kind of unpleasant addiction occurs in the control program of the adaptive automaton. Corrosion at the scenic body has a strict relationship. Weaknesses were not observed. Anyway, the body is perhaps one of the few strong points of this car. Five stars in the European safety rating are worth a lot. The other thing is electrical. Here, the catch can be hidden anywhere power windows, the fan and, honestly, all the wiring responsible for connecting the comfort unit do not shine with reliability. It is not uncommon for the air conditioning compressor to fail, and for specimens that left the assembly line after 2007, the bulbs of the front position lights pour and light in a Chinese New Year's garland. Despondency causes an electronic scoreboard located in the middle of the front panel, which replaced the traditional dashboard. Perhaps, from a design point of view, the solution is justified but the reliability of the node leaves much to be desired. There are few scenic owners who have not changed this node at least once due to regular failures. As a result, it finally goes out and cannot be repaired. The suspension is to be commended. The car goes smoothly and comfortably even on a bad road. There are no complaints about the rear beam at all, and the front strut support bearings, as well as ball bearings, are considered the most vulnerable parts in front. Survivability here is distinguished by silent blocks of levers and front stabilizer struts. Often complain about the steering rack bushing. It breaks and starts tapping on bumps. Surprisingly, mechanics often recommend installing non-original parts in place of short-lived original parts. As, for example, happens with steering rods. Native rarely serve more than 40,000 kilometers. The non-original is much more durable. Against the background of the foregoing, it makes no sense to find fault with the brake system at all. It becomes the source of problems the least often, even despite the uninformative and too soft pedal. Well, you ask, are there many problems with this car? Fairly, but he more than compensates for most of them with his talents of a full-fledged station wagon, extremely affordable price and more than moderate cost of components. But isn't this the key to the success of any car in the secondary market? So do not be afraid. The family will definitely not condemn you for such a purchase, and technical problems can be solved in the end. Electrician. Complaints about scenic concern mainly electricians. It is difficult to single out the weakest points here. Refuses air conditioning, electronic instrument panel, power windows, wiring. Tire pressure sensors and the keyless entry system quickly fail. Windshield wiper issues. Transmission. A compromised choice perhaps, can be considered a car with a six-speed automatic. They began to be installed after restyling in 2006. It is no coincidence that Scenic is famous for its driving comfort, but what kind of comfort without an automatic transmission? The pre-styling four-speed automatic is accused of high fuel consumption, but the mechanics, do not forget, will still be more reliable. Engine. All gasoline cars have problems with dephaser failures. Its replacement, in combination with the timing belt, cannot be called a cheap repair. Failures occur almost every 40,000 kilometers. In diesel engines, the fuel supply system is considered the weakest point. The injectors are extremely sensitive to fuel quality. 